I have an IFP. It is time now for Imagine It, and it is 947 on a Saturday morning. I'm a little nervous, uh, I'm not going to lie, because Carl Nelson said, take off your jacket, roll up your sleeve, and Christina Williams, you can't do this one because your hair is too flammable. Well, well hair is a little long today. Okay. So, and yours is just the right length. So, <laughs> you know, it's that, it is that time of year when people are outside mowing the lawn, yeah. right, doing home improvements, working with organic solvents, gasoline, paint thinner, things like that. And many of those liquids are very, very flammable, but even more insidious is the vapor, insidious. which you can't see. Okay. Okay. So I'll give you a demonstration of a vapor you can't see that's very flammable. What I'd like you to do is stick your hand into this beaker of water. Uh, okay. And any hair that you want to keep on that wrist, get it wet. Okay. <laughs> Just gonna spread it up a little farther. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> and so what I have in, in these bubbles is actually methane. It's the major component inside of natural gas. So I want you to scoop up as many of those bubbles as you can in your hand. Yeah. Okay, and then just kind of hold it away from that balloon because that, that's got some other stuff in it. I'm just gonna light it on fire here, okay? So the water should help protect. It should. It should help protect your hand. This, year, this is an untested theory? Well, this is an untested lighter. <laughs> no, we're going we're to use this. I might be little, saved. Uh, no, no, you're fine. You're fine. Here we go. Here. One, two, three. Okay. <laughs> the methane is lighter than air. It floats up away from your hand. That's cool. That is in contrast to most solvents that you might use, like gasoline. Go ahead and dry your hand off there. Okay. Um, inside this little, tiny little beaker, I have just a few milliliters of a very volatile liquid. It's hexane. It's similar to gasoline. It turns into a vapor very, very quickly. Okay, and this contraption I have here is sort of a model of what might happen if you spilled this. I'm gonna give this to you. Go no, ahead I'm not gonna that. spill it. You will eventually. Okay. Um, <laughs> if you spill this in your basement, okay, this trough leads over to a candle, like ignition source. Now there's so little liquid in there that the liquid will go about halfway. The vapors, which are heavier than air, will tumble down towards that ignition source. They're gonna ignite, they're gonna flash back to this balloon, which represents the liquid spill that you may be trying to clean up. Sure. Okay, you gotta remember, it's the vapors that are so dangerous. So what I want you to do is go ahead and spill that at the very top of the ramp. Okay. And then step back. You actually come over towards me. Oh, that's, that's good. Go come over here. Because right right, so, right. see, that balloon is actually <laughs> filled with a little bit of hydrogen. And I'm going to scoop. Oh, whoa. Hey, whoa. See, that's why it's dangerous. It just went. Shoo. It flashed back up the candle. And this is why it's so insidious, is that in this case, it did not ignite the balloon. There wasn't enough flame over there to do that. But we're not going to approach the balloon because it could flame up at any time. That's why I right. brought this for you to go ahead and safely get rid of that balloon filled with hydrogen. Go ahead and bring the candle near the bottom of the Cover balloon. Cover your ears. Three, two, one. Okay. Cool. And see, that is why it is so dangerous. <laughs> you never know if those vapors are going to be present, if they could ignite it, they could not ignite it. Yeah. It was intended to ignite it, but it isn't quite uh, It hot went enough. very fast. It just went underneath the balloon and so fast. I've got a, a mini version here, but that can actually happen over a considerable distance. Your entire basement anywhere. Sure. So all just right. be careful with those vapors. Absolutely. Safety first. Thanks very yeah. much, Carl. It's an effective demonstration and we all have all of our hair here. If you'd like to go down to the Imagination <laughs> Station and keep your hair, keep your hats on too. They're going to knock your socks off, but that is this week's Imagine It. Thanks again. We're sure. going to turn it now over to Dave with sports.